Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a quick uh, review today on the um, Q Acoustic 2070S. Um, it's an active subwoofer. Um, just to give you a bit of background on it as well, um, there's a few models in this range. You've got the 2070S, the 2070SI, and you've got the 3070. Um, I think that's called SI as well. Um, 3070s and like the later models, they cut back on a few of the features, which I'll show you in a minute around the back. Um, it's got a removable cover, and it's got it's got two um, 17 centimeter woofers. So if I just come in to show you, I'll just move them actually. Mm. I don't know why it says it's got 1700mm woofers because they haven't. They're 6 inch woofers. Yeah. So the woofers are 6 inch. Um, it's 22 inches long. And 7 and a half inches wide. So I'll just give you a quick quick show around it, um, show you some of the key features. Um, and then towards the end, I'll do a quick sound test and give you my opinion of what it uh, sounds like. So if I just zoom into the front, show you what that looks like. So I'll come in for the close-up. So that's your woofer. Put a little logo at the bottom. It is quite long. If you look at it from this angle. So you come round to the back. It's base ported. The on off switch. Uh, so you've got the volume control, you've got the um it's kind of like the phase. Oh no, that's a crossover, sorry. So you've got the crossover. And that's your phase. Then you've got like a vented sealed. I don't know what sort of difference that makes. Have you got your sensitivity for it to turn on and off? Phase invert. And then you've got music and AV. Music keeps the subwoofer on a flat level, like uh, keeps the frequency flat. If you put it onto AV, it has a boost in the uh, 40 hertz like frequency range. It will kind of boost it for like movies. This is one of the kind of cool key features. You can hide the cables away. So if I take this off, it's quite hard to take off, is it? So this is what it looks like here. So you've got you got your two linings, or you can use just the bottom one for mono. You've got the bottom one so you can daisy chain it, you can take this to another subwoofer. So you can have like multiple subwoofers in your system. You've got high level inputs, so if you haven't got like subwoofer output on your uh, on your amplifier, you can connect your speakers directly to it. Um, and of course you've got your voltage switch there. But the cables come up through the bottom here. If I just quickly flip it over and I'll show you. <coughs> okay, so I flipped it over now. So yeah, your power cable, this is the bottom look. So you've got the spikes. It's got adjustable spikes on it, yeah, to um, put on the carpet. If you've got um, a laminated floor, you can put these like little rubber bungs on. But yeah, this is where the cables come in the bottom. As you can see, like, so you feed them into there, put them into there, and then close the lid. Keeps them nice and um, nice and sealed. So yeah, um, you get different, when you go on the internet, it will say, some say it's 140 watts, but it's actually 150 watts. So it's 75 watts to each speaker. It's got a dual um, amplifier. Um, yeah, um, I'm just gonna put it on the floor. I'll give you a quick sound check to uh, just show you what it sounds like. Okay, so when you set it up, 
you take the cable out, you're a subwoofer output. Your speakers, put your power cable there. Let me pair it up with these Kef LS uh, 50Ws, the wireless ones. So for the initial test, I'll put this to music, put this to zero, put this to vented, put all the dials to 12 o'clock. Um, so I'll just do a bass sweep just to so you can hear what it sounds like. And I'll try and put more emphasis on the subwoofer than on the speakers. Okay. All right, I'll put the subwoofer here just to do a quick sound check. Um, first of all, I'll do a, a bass sweep. This is one of the videos off my own channel. And um, what I've done, I've set the kefs um, to take, the, you know, if I start the video. Okay, so the kefs all control the bass until that gets to about 45. Once that gets to 45, the subwoofer will take over. Right, I don't know how good the uh, phone picked it up, but um, you can audibly hear the subwoofer down to about, I'd say around about 28, 27, and then it starts to like, dives off. By, by 24, you definitely can't hear it. But um, it goes pretty deep. Um, so, uh, let's try one more bass test. Try this one. This is another one of my videos. At Ring, we reinvented the doorbell. And now we're changing the way you look at whole home protection with... So yeah, on this video, you won't hear nothing at the moment. I've actually hid. That's 10 hertz. 15, 20, it's 25, I can hear it now, 30, you can definitely hear it, 35, 40, I had to turn that down a bit because it was quite, quite basic. But um, my, to be honest, my review of this uh, speaker, it, I don't really rate it that that much. Um, it's pretty good for um, if you're going to be watching movies and stuff, but for music, it's not very good at all. I mean, if you can pick one up for about fifty quid, maybe. But um, there's a lot better subwoofers out there than this. So that was just a quick um, sort of show and review. Okay, I thought I'd just put this in the video as well because um, there's one part of the video when I said I didn't like it. Um, but actually now I've been messing. I've been messing with the settings for about an hour. And um, I positioned the subwoofer down here. Um, yeah, I've also got the um, Echo Sub and the Echo Studios. But um, I put the sub down here and I've actually dialed it in, set it up properly. and. Um, I'm going to do a quick sound demo, I, don't, I mean, the camera probably won't pick it up, but it actually does sound a lot better now. I'm, so I was going to send it back, but I'm keeping. Um, so I'll just play this tune. It's my last tune, by the way. I say, I don't know if this is going to pick it up, but um, I'll sit, sit in my position. It 
So that is turned down quite low, but um, it's got that really nice extended base. I'm saying that these kick out quite a nice bit of base. So that is definitely giving it um, a lower end base to it. So yeah, if you can pick one up for cheap, they are they are pretty good. Um, anyway, like I say, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.